Okay, we're visiting the Mount Scott area in the Wichita Mountains of Oklahoma. our channel this is tim with outdoors for adventure in this video me and ashley jump in the 2022 compass trailhawk and head into oklahoma a lot of people think oklahoma is just a bunch of flat plains but they would be wrong as you will see in this video we head to the wichita mountains wildlife refuge this is located in southwestern Oklahoma near Lawton. It's protected unique wildlife habitats since 1901 and is the oldest managed wildlife facility in the United States fish and wildlife system. The refuge location is geologically unique. The Wichita Mountains and its areas of undisturbed mixed grass prairie make it an important conservation area. The Wichita's are approximately 500 million years old, measuring about 59,000 acres. 
the refuge hosts a great diversity of species, 806 plant species, 240 species of birds, 36 fish, and 64 reptiles and amphibians are present. The Wichita Forest Reserve was established by the General Land Office in Oklahoma on July 4, 1901 with 57,120 acres. After the transfer of federal forest to United States Forest Service in 1905, it became a national forest on March 4, 1907 as Wichita National Forest. On November 27, 1936, the forest was abolished and transferred to the Bureau of Biological Survey a precursor to the Fish and Wildlife Service. It was redesignated the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge. The WMWR is managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. There are 13 small lakes within this reservoir. There are 13 small lakes within this reserve. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Several species of large native mammals make their home at the refuge. The plains bison, also known as American bison, elk, white-tailed deer, graze the prairies along with Texas longhorn cattle, preserved for their cultural and historic importance. Bison, longhorns, and elk were introduced after the establishment of the refuge. Miriam's elk, the original subspecies of elk in this area, is extinct, so the elk in the refuge are Rocky Mountain elk. The ancestors of the herd were imported from Jackson Hole, Wyoming in 1911. The elk herd's the largest in Oklahoma at about 1,000, and the white-tailed deer number about 450. Many smaller mammal species also live in the refuge, including the nine-banded armadillo, basarisk, and the black-tailed prairie dog. Other species that have been reintroduced include the river otto, burrowing owls, and prairie dog. Although these species are not listed as endangered, USFWS policy is to ensure that species that were once their native to these mountains would always be found. According to the Encyclopedia of Oklahoma History and Culture, the refuge failed in its attempts to reintroduce the American pronghorn, antelope, bighorn sheep, and the prairie chicken. The conservation of bison has become an ongoing diverse effort, and the refuge was important in saving the American buffalo from extinction. In 1907, the American Bison Society transported 15 bison, 6 bulls, and 9 cows from the Bronx Zoo. On arrival, the Comanche leader, Quana Parker, and a host of other Indians and whites turned out to welcome the bison. At that time, bison had been extinct on the southern Great Plains for 30 years. The bison herd now numbers about 650 on the refuge. In fall, bison in excess of the carrying capacity of the refuge were auctioned off, but this practice was ended in 2020 when the refuge joined in the Bison Conservation Initiative. The 2020 Bison Conservation Initiative by the Department of the Interior has five central goals. Wild, healthy bison herds, genetic conservation, shared stewardship, ecological restoration, and culture restoration. It strengthened mechanisms for delivery of bison to Native American tribes for federal herds. In 1973, the refuge aided bison conservation by donating three bison to the Fort Worth Nature Center and Reserve. The refuge is home to many species of birds and it is one of the remaining homes of the recently delisted black-capped vireo. There's no admission charge to visit the park. 
Public use areas on the refuge total 22,400 acres. The remaining 37,000 acre wildlife area has guided tours only. A visitor center and bookstore displays art and has exhibits illustrating the four major habitats found on the refuge. Rocklands, aquatic, mixed grass prairie, and the cross timbers. Refuge is a popular destination for recreation activities. Rock climbing is overwhelmingly popular, but visitors also enjoy hiking, camping, fishing, bird and wildlife watching, and photography. The refuge has an extensive trail system, including about 15 miles of official trails and unofficial trails. As we were going up to the dam, lead to climbing routes. Ashley the area became popular for rock climbing beginning in the 1960s and 1970s. Room. It has become I something walk back up of here. a regional mecca. So climbing has brought many visitors to the refuge. Some controversy exists over the use of the fixed That's anchors, cool. bolts, and other permanently placed objects on the rock face. The refuge has joined with the Access Fund and the Wichita Mountains Climbers Coalition to promote responsible use of the Wichita's resources. Rock climbing routes are found on Mount it. Scott, Just the off the road. second highest summit, as well as areas such as the Narrows and the Charon Gardens Wilderness areas. Fishing for largemouth bass, sunfish, crappie, and channel catfish is popular in 13 artificial lakes on the refuge. Elk and deer hunting to coal excessive numbers is permitted in a managed hunt every fall. Hunters are chosen by lottery and a fee is charged. A narrow winding road leads to the summit of Mount Scott, elevation 2,464 feet, with the view that encompasses the whole refuge. Although the mountains rise only 800 to 1,000 feet above the surrounding prairie, they are steep and rocky. The highest mountain in the refuge is Mount Penjot, which rises to 2,479 feet. Mount Penjot was named in honor of Gifford Penjot, who served as the first chief of the United States Forest Service. If I didn't pronounce yeah, that right name right, to the chief. apologize. To continue our journey. I hope y'all enjoy this little video this is the first section that we stopped in and explored and we look forward to driving through the rest of it and sharing with y'all so stay tuned as this is to be continued thank you don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave